When you're working on your vintage bike project, it's essential that you rebuild the wheels, uh, at least the hubs. So you'll need to disassemble the hubs, clean them, regrease them, new ball bearings. The uh, more complicated of the two hubs, front and rear, is going to be your rear coaster brake hub. The coaster brake hub on the Rollfast is a new departure hub, which I know because it's printed right here on the brake arm, new departure. Uh, some new departure hubs also have it printed on the hub itself. This one does not, but uh, it's printed on the brake arm. And when I disassembled this hub, the way that it is designed also shows me clearly that it's a new departure model D hub. New departure had several different model hubs, although they were of similar design. This is a model D hub. The way this one works is that there is a stack of plates inside of it, little tiny plates, uh, and they alternate in between steel and bronze. One steel plate, one bronze plate, so on and so on. And they're together in a little stack. When you back pedal on your brake, a mechanism called the brake driver rotates backwards and it's got screws on it that push inward on the hub and push those plates together. And those plates being squeezed together is what provides the braking force. So <clears throat> on this bike, when I rebuilt it, the things that I did was disassemble it. I laid the parts out in order on a piece of newspaper. I took a picture of those parts in order that I could use as a reference when I was reassembling it in case I got some of the parts mixed up or just to check my work. <clears throat> I replaced the ball bearings, cleaned off all the old grease, put on new grease. I checked the bearing surfaces to see if they were pitted or galled. They weren't pitted or galled, so I can reuse this hub. If your hub has pitting in the bearing surfaces, you can't reuse it. It'll just chew up the new set of ball bearings and it won't work properly. Uh, I also took each one of those little plates that I just described to you and some wet dry sandpaper, 1000 grit, which is a very light, light grit. And I put that down on a very hard flat surface. You could use a sheet of glass or a piece of corian. I used a piece of stone. Uh, and I laid that wet dry sandpaper down there, got it moist, and each one of those little discs that provide the braking force I would slowly sand, flip over, sand each side until it was clean and smooth and, and, and brought it back to very flat dimensions so that they would contact each other in the maximum way possible and provide a sufficient amount of braking force. And also to uh, slightly roughen up the surfaces that touch each other so they grip just a little bit better. So that is the process. Uh, I don't have the video of me doing that. My hard drive crashed. However, I am going to show you a exploded view hand-drawn uh, exploded view from an old uh, New Departure manual. You'll also be able to find those online. If the one that I put up on this video is not enough for you, you'll be able to get your hands on it on the internet with a very simple search, no problem. But even if you don't get all that, all the parts in this rear hub screw together uh, and you don't need any special tools for it. Uh, the only exception would be if you want to remove the cog. Uh, this particular cog is held in by a retaining ring and you might need a, a set of pliers that has a little pins on it that are specific for taking off and putting back on circle clips or retaining rings, however you want to describe it. So give it a shot. It's not that hard. Just stay focused on keeping everything in order and cleaning up everything. All right, let me put up that diagram for you. Here's the exploded view of a new departure Model D hub that I promised. If you stop and zoom in and freeze frame and look at part D678, that's the stack of plates I was referring to. Here's a view of me cleaning the uh, wheel in my sink, in my kitchen, <laughs> and a view of the empty hub shell. Rebuilding a coaster brake hub is not voodoo and it's not magic. Don't be scared by it. Uh, just keep your parts organized to make sure that you reassemble it in the proper order. Check your bearing surfaces. Replace the ball bearings for sure. And you should, you should be able to, to pull this off. It's, it's, it's something that's not going to challenge you beyond your abilities, I promise. So now that we've got the hub rebuilt and cleaned up, Let's proceed to true the wheel and make sure that it will roll properly.